what's up guys, uh, Blair here. Apparently Bonnie's life is too boring today, so she wanted me to vlog for a little bit. Um, just gonna run some errands, do some fun things. Getting a passport, which is kind of exciting because in a couple tries, um, I'll be doing a clinic abroad thing through my school, um, being in either India, Vietnam, or um, somewhere else. Anyways, somewhere overseas. I got a bunch of different options of places. I think Brazil is another one that I could go to. So I'm getting my passport early so that way I don't have to worry about it later. And um, yeah, just fun filled day. We just got back from LA yesterday and Bonnie had to go back to work again today. And I don't know how the girl does it because I had to wake up pretty late because I was really, really tired. So I don't know how she got up and got to work today. So props to her. But yeah, I'm on break. I just got done with finals and uh, went really, really well. But um, got about a week off, and then I start school again the next semester. I'm jumping into clinic, which is really, really exciting. So a lot of good stuff coming up in the next few weeks. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Just got some awesome sweatbands from Dick's Sporting Goods. When I played basketball in high school and in college, I uh, always had one of those really, really long wristbands. They're like six inches. So it goes from my wrist to like the middle of my forearm. I use a lot, and I go, whew after playing real hard. Anyways, got any real basketball coming up in a little bit, so I figured I'd go ahead and buy some. Oh, like six bucks, so pretty good deal. Right now I'm heading over to Walgreens and I'm gonna get a passport photo. And then the passport area or whatever, the post office closes at three, so I need to hurry up because it's like two o'clock right now. But hopefully we can make it, so. All right, that's it, that's all I'm doing. Bonnie said this was not boring. I don't know, because it's kind of exciting, but not really. Okay. Holy crap, so that was hilarious. I went in to go get my photo at Walgreens. The very first thing the lady says to me, she goes, don't smile. And I'm a pretty happy person, so it was really tough for me not to smile. But I saw Bonnie's passport photo, and she got to smile, so I'm a little upset that I didn't get to smile. Pretty heartbroken. And, it cost $11 for two passport photos. Uh, first of all, I only needed one. What was the other one? Just in case, I guess, I don't know. But that is ridiculous. At my school, we have to do a thing where every try, that, or every time that we take a board exam, there's four parts for chiropractic board exams, and then there's a PT exam. So you're actually taking five tests total. And you have to have a photo, or have a photo of yourself every single time you take it. And it's like a passport photo. And there it is 50 cents. And if the school wasn't closed, I totally would go. 50 cents versus almost $12. That's what it was in tax. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so that's a little weird that I didn't get to smile. She was very unhappy, I guess. She does not like seeing people happy. That's the only thing I can think of. So I am on my way to the post office. It is 2.33. And I'm supposed to get there at about 2.40, my GPS says. And hopefully I will make it on time. I know that you're sitting on the edge of your seat, thinking to yourself, can he do it? Can he make it? I don't know. We'll have to see. Hold on to your socks. Hold on to your socks. That's a really bad... It's a really bad outro. Um... Hold on to your socks. Hang on tight? I don't know. I don't know. I'll think of something. Edit below. Put put comment below. That I have no idea. I got bad ones. I got bad exit lines. You know, like in an action movie. Anyway. I'm blabbering. Alright. Post office. Passport. Getting it. Done. Boom chicka meow meow. So that's my mugshot for my passport photo. I did make it. I know you were worried. Um, wound up costing $150 for a passport. And just an FYI for you that may want to get one someday, um, there's also a thing online you can do to get it rushed for like $35 more, but that's why I'm doing it now, so that way I don't have to worry about it. It's supposed to be here in about four to six weeks, and uh, you just need your birth certificate, driver's license, and for me, since I was out of state, my driver's license is out of state, um, I actually had to give them my student ID as well. So, 
just an FYI for those of you thinking about getting a passport. But yeah, then they take your birth certificate and keep it, and it goes with your passport, I guess. And they send that back to you as well in about four to six weeks. So it seems like a very important document for them to just, I don't know, take. But anyway, so yeah, that's it, yo. That's the whole process. I'm pretty stoked. It's kind of weird. I'm looking at my uh, birth certificate. Check it out. These are my baby feet. There's my hand. There's my feet when I was a baby. We grow up so fast. Anyway, so yeah, I made it. It went really well. It's kind of costly, but it'll be worth it, hopefully. I don't even know when passports expire, but you can have them for a really long time before they expire, so it's a good thing to have. What else am I doing today? I don't know. I think, actually, I'm going to go get Bonnie some flowers. Because today is technically our anniversary, and um, but we celebrated it over the weekend in L.A., which is a lot of fun. And uh, you guys should watch all of those videos. We're doing a what Bonnie calls a Vlogtober, which is kind of weird and hilarious at the same time, where she's vlogging once every day. So, yeah. Check those out. I think it's the 18th, 19th, and 20th, and 21st. Um, 21st, we're just heading back. Um, back to, uh, where we live. But anyway, so yeah. Really good stuff. Really cool stuff. This channel's awesome. And, uh, tell your friends about it. Because I'm on it. And that's really the only reason why you need to watch it. So, I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna get Bonnie some flowers. And, see what happens after that. Alright. Outside of Hardee's, the sound just, the sign just says, wow. That's all it says. Wow. 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 Nothing else. Ba boom! Just got Bonnie a dozen roses. They always, whenever I go there, wrap it in this like paper containment apparatus. I don't know. I just put it in a vase in like 20 minutes, you know. It's whatever, just wasting paper. And I tell them, I say, I'm going to put it in a vase. You can just put it in a bag or something. They're like, no, no, no. But they're actually really helpful there. Probably the best flower shop I've ever been to, to be honest. Um, and I've bought Bonnie a lot of flowers. Not necessarily because I'm a bad guy and I need her to forgive me for things or anything like that. It's more like she just really, really likes flowers. It's kind of weird. Like, if she could be... Like, the very first thing I think of... She loves flowers so much, she's like Poison Ivy. You know the, 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 the super villain, Poison Ivy, from Batman? Yeah, it's like that. She just loves flowers. Loves them. I don't get it. I bet in Bonnie's world, I would get her flowers every week. And she would be happy. It's really, I don't get it. Whatever. But, you know, it's good to know what she likes. Because then, you know, it makes it easier for me. Those girls are very, very complicated. Especially Bonnie. But, I love her anyway. So, yep. I am going to... Oh, by the way, something I didn't mention. She was just telling me in there, the lady, she's really, really helpful. Apparently, if you cut flowers at a slant, the bottom of the stem helps them last longer. And then she also just told me too, because I told her about last time we had the flowers, I got them here, and they lasted for like a week. And, uh, which usually doesn't happen whenever I buy flowers anywhere else. And she told me, she's like, well, usually they last longer. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, because, and she's like, after two or three days, make sure you check the water and then empty the vase. And then you either put it in a new vase or clean out the vase and it'll, it'll last even longer. So cut the stems in like a slant. Um, and then also check the water and change it out the vase every two or three days. Apparently the flowers last a really long time. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, it makes your investment that much more better. If they last a little longer, so. But, yeah, from here on out, I'm just waiting for Bonnie to get home because I got nothing else to do. So, it's been great hanging out with you guys. This is a little weird. You know, this is my first time I've ever vlogged by myself without Bonnie. And, uh, I'm just really, really happy that you guys got to be here for it.
<clears throat> Sorry, getting choked up. Anyway, so I will see you guys very, very soon. Probably like right after this video, Bonnie is going to record some more stuff because she loves vlogging. She loves you guys. She loves doing this. So thank you for your support and thank you for being awesome. Most of all, I mean, I know what it feels like to be awesome, but you know, you guys should definitely know what it feels like to be awesome because you're awesome. Again, I'm just rambling, but that's okay, because that's what vlogging is. You just ramble. You just talk. Video. Video chop. Video chalk. Video talk. All the time. 24-7. 365. What if Bonnie and I did a thing where we vlogged every day for November as well? Wouldn't that just be awful? You guys wouldn't like that, would you? Like, that would be terrible if we did that. Yeah, I agree. That's a really bad idea. I shouldn't have even mentioned it. I shouldn't have even said anything. I was throwing it out there. And clearly you guys don't want us to do that. So just pretend I never said that. Anyway. So. Just kidding. If you guys want us to do that, let us know. Okay. Well. Toodles. So like I said earlier, I told the viewers that they were going to see me later, so this wasn't goodbye. Was, <laughs> you love to... Uh, You're going to catch this place on you fire. You love to smoke in a toothpick. Oh, jeez. Um, because you love to walk, so... I do. Well, I don't know, can they see me? Barely. It's only a red face. Well, Blair surprised me with flowers, which you guys obviously saw that he bought. Um, and then he said that we were going out to dinner, which I'm really excited for because I thought that we weren't going to do anything for our anniversary because today's our actual anniversary, October 22nd. Explain that too. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I've been working all day. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Get with the program. Um, but I'm excited. I'm really happy. Thank you, honey. Sure thing. Um, but I tweeted something yesterday. I don't know if you saw it, Blair. That since we skipped a few days, if we should continue until October into November. I talked about that too. You did? Stop burning that on fire. Burning that, burning that on burning, fire. Burning, putting that. Burning that on fire. Making that on. Stop burning that thing. <laughs> burning it on fire. Burning it on fire. Tune it in. Well, what'd you say about November? Hmm? What'd you say about November? Oh, you'll see. Oh, I guess I have to edit the video. I need to teach you how to edit the videos. Nah. Since you're not doing anything, I really this don't week. like doing a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> but we are out for Thai food, which is one of my favorites. And again, she just shows how sweet Blair is because it is not one of his favorite things. He likes it, but he doesn't like. He can only have so much of it. I'm a more of a steak, burger, yeah, person. American food. Whereas uh, Thai foods like. Things I've never seen before. It's not as weird as some of the stuff I've seen you eat, though. Yeah. Have I taken you to dim sum before? No. No. I don't want to go. But, yeah. I love dim sum, but Blair won't go with me, so I have to make my mom go. You, no, you're not making her. She wants to go. Yeah. Well, you can get a, like more different things at dim sum. Things, the things that are at dim sum are... Still, like still moving. Chicken feet and cow stomach. Nope. Stuff like that. Nope. Now we're hungry. Nope. <laughs> Food. Food. Blair likes it. You like it? Mango teriyaki chicken. That looks and smells really good. Like me. Uh huh. Delicious. Say hello. In the 21st century fortune cookie. You can't really see it. It's like a little tube. Yeah, it's like a little tube. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. It worked. <laughs> Pull it Seriously? out. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Message in the bottle. What is your fortune? What is my fortune? My fortune says you are next in line for promotion in your firm. Damn it, I should have got that one. No, it's okay. No, it doesn't work that way. No, it's my fortune. You don't even like eating these. You just like reading them. Here. I want here. Take take the fortune. Give me my turn. Just take the fortune out. You're not gonna eat the cookie. I can't. Okay. Yep. 
You smell. Oh, jeez. I tried to tell you you wouldn't eat it, but you don't listen. What? Well. <clears throat> you will live a long life, but never get old. That's not a fortune. That's for a refund. Well, I want to live a long life, but I will get old. Way to, way to look on the positive side of things.